Hey, you all, it's Reed here from Holly Creek Farms. We're out mowing hay today. It's getting kind of late in May. It's Memorial Day weekend. As a matter of fact, 2022. We're just uh, Heather's here, my little buddy seed, my instructional seed. And uh, we're mowing about five miles an hour on this hill. There's, there's four acres here. Just thought we'd, uh, thought we'd get started. It's getting about four days. Really nice weather. Uh, it's rained a little bit today, it rained a little bit yesterday, but not a ton. Uh, so we've got some really nice orchard grass fescue mix right here. Um, this is the first field we've cut this year. We got out a few minutes ago, we tightened up the windrow on the mower. We got it down to where I'm straddling the windrows so we're not running over the hay making it set in the ground a little more. We are on the ends a little bit, but for the most part, I'm straddling the wind ropes. I found that this really helps dry down of the hay. It allows the ground to dry out more because the wind ropes pushed up so there's more ground that's actually exposed. When we got out and adjusted that, we measured the, the cut height. Um, this, this new idea of mower, super easy to adjust the cutting height. We don't mess with that a whole lot, but from time to time, um, we do. We've got our cutting height right at four inches, so you'll have places that you're cutting six inches and places you're cutting probably three inches, but um, for the most part, we're right at about four inches. So you'll see me, I'll, I'm gonna go around the outside so y'all have an idea of what, what that's like, but uh, just kind of switch back. These things, they turn really well to the left, they probably turn better to the left than they do to the right, but this field, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this outside out so I've got a little bit more room on my ears, but you were just, uh, it's kind of hard to tell probably on the video, but I've got my hand over here on this blue handle. The blue handle, we've got it for uh, in and out on the mower, and I'm always uh, adjusting on it with this heel because it's not perfectly level ground. Maybe hard to tell, but we're probably on it. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good incline. Uh, the farther up towards the road you get, the steeper it gets. But uh, down down here on the creek bank, it's fairly level, but it's it's definitely overall it's it's fairly steep deal. So I've just on that all the time. But our green remote is uh, it's the only one on this track that has float. So I've got it down in float. Um, the only uh, time you wouldn't want to use that is when you're when I'm pick it up. So when I'm making a turn, I'll pick that up, I'll, I'll pull it back out of flow. And it's a little bit rough down here on the creek bank. Y'all know by now probably that uh, I was much farm slug, uh, which is definitely not the best thing in the world for most of the stuff we do. But you can see this teach is stopped up there. I'll have to get down here and work on this at some point. There I pitch line, but I'm just, just kind of going around the edges. I pull, push the mower out away from the tractor when I went around the outside ring so that I didn't run the mower over where my tires were. And the reason you do that is so that the mower will pick up the hay and it'll get it really clean. If you try to mow this outside ring in the same direction that you, that you push the hay down, like if you, you can pull this mower in and it will cut out your tires. But, if you do that, this uh, this mower with the cutting height set at four inches will not pick up the hay very well. So uh, we've got a little bit of veg there. You see, I don't know how well you can see it. Sometimes it's it's great, it's really nutritious, but sometimes it's uh, it's <laughs> it, it catches on the outside of the mower from time to time. We may see that in a minute, but you can kind of tell this is a level ground by any means. This, this is going to be our last pass. We'll go up here and we'll, we'll flip that off with our bush off whenever we get the hay off. And, uh, maybe let the cows in here for a day or two. We've got this fence. Uh, Heather and I, we use this field. This field and the joining field, there's almost 10 acres here. We use this for grazing in the winter. Uh, we'll, put, we'll put our cows out here. Uh, so we stop pile grass. Usually about August, we'll cut this second cutting of hay uh, off and we'll put our cows out here on stockpile grass usually around Thanksgiving um, to, to eat the stockpile of orchard grass and then we'll take them off of it through the winter and we'll feed 